Lots of characters to cover at the car wash. Slide, the neighborhood bookie. Hippo, everybody's buddy. Floyd and Lloyd, bootleg OJs. TC, wannabe superhero. Lindy, the always ready with a comeback cross-dresser. Abdullah, Muslim brother that ain't with the shit. Geronimo and Goody, practical jokers. Lonnie, ex-con and stabilizing presence. Earl, the manager who thinks he's above all this shit. Leon, the owner. Yes, there were white cats named Leon back in the 70s. Erwin, son of Leon, student of Chairman Mao's philosophy. Working girl Marlene skips out on her cab fare. The cabbie tries to track her down. Marlene uses the car wash's restroom like Superman uses a phone booth. She transforms from Barbie Marlene to little orphan Annie Marlene. The workers start the day. They make it seem like working at the car wash is one big party. Leon presses Abdullah for being late yet again. Abdullah uses intimidation to run him off. Marsha works the office. She's also working old Leon on the side. Erwin puts his mouth philosophy into action. He joins the working class folk as they labor, and it doesn't go too well. TC continues to miss out on winning tickets to a dance. He wants to take the waitress across the street, Mona, to the dance, but she's not seeing it. Here comes Daddy Rich, prosperity preaching before it had a name. Abdullah calls him out for being just another street hustler, and actually, he's right. More hijinks. A Doberman shits on the lot. Geronimo borrows Goody's signature hat and spies on Marsha using the toilet. TC and Hippo think they've called a local menace, the pop bottle bomber, but it turns out it's just the dude with the urine sample. TC spends his lunch break begging Mona for a date. The answer is still no. He tries to win the radio contest again, but this time Marlene got dibs on the phone. Marlene gets her first customer of the day, Hippo, another satisfied customer. The cabbie actually finds Marlene, but doesn't even recognize her with her new look. This dude spent the whole day looking for Marlene when he could have been out there getting other fares. Marsha gets chose by one of her customers. TC finally wins the contest. Time to close up shop. Marlene's night is just getting started. Hey, the nightlife ain't a good life, but it's my life. Leon passes out paychecks and passes Abdullah a pink slip. Lonnie and Leon come to an agreement about a raise and ideas how the car wash to bring in more business. TC acts Mona out one last time. And after laying down a bit of reality, she finally agrees to go on a date with him. While Marsha is getting ready for a date, Lonnie offers to close out the place for her so she can leave early. Abdullah comes in to rob the place. Lonnie talks him down from making a huge mistake. The real star of this movie is the soundtrack, one of the best ever. 